Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to adjust the blend mode on your smart filters. And this is pretty useful for new people that are new to Photoshop because it's not exactly intuitive. You kind of have to dig in and, and you have to make a, an assumption or two here. So let's just go ahead and let's just get this rolling. First thing, if you want to follow along with me guys, is I've just got a standard picture of some fruit here. Very nice picture, lots of nice bright and contrasty things. And we're going to just go ahead and start using some smart filters. So let's just get right in here. The first thing you can do, uh, I would do, pardon me, is convert for smart filters by clicking that. Or alternatively, you can just right click here and convert to smart object. This makes it nice and smart filter ready. If you hear a little bit of snorting and, and, and uh, snoring, that's my big bulldog, Kingston, just uh, sleeping beside me. So hopefully uh, <laughs> ignore that sound. All right, the second step we're going to get into, guys, is we're going to apply some filters. So you want to go to Filter Gallery right here. And then bang, I've got uh, Glass selected, but you can go through here and select any one you want. I really like the artistic ones. I like the glass look. I like Ocean Ripple. It's like glass, but a little bit uh, heavier. But uh, for sake of um, time, let's just go with glass. Again, you can change the distortion levels depending on what you're looking for here. But let's go ahead and apply this. Bang, now you're gonna see we've applied a smart filter. And now for a lot of people, if you're new to Photoshop, this is kinda, you know, this is like, hey, well this is what the filter does. But that's not entirely true. You can go ahead and make further adjustments right here. If you click on Filter Gallery, you're going to see this little switch-looking thingy-dingy in the bottom right here. You can actually double-click this, and we're going to edit Filter Blending Options. So I double-click on that. Now we're talking. Here's where you can adjust the mode. And I'm just going to cycle through a couple of them here. Darken, Multiply, yikes. Color Burn, if you want to go dark, if you want to go lighten. You know what? you got some lighten options. Let's take a look at Screen. Screen's usually good. Uh, these here, Overlay is usually a pretty good one, but it's... Uh, bit too dark in this situation so I'd reduce the opacity down like this but guys that is how you make that very simple but often overlooked adjustment thank you for watching this tutorial I've got a lot more stuff coming out I hope to see you soon bye